I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, always have my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry Aren't those flowers just so beautiful? Those were my Valentine's Day flowers that I got from my husband and I'm just so in love with them. I just had to share it. Hi, my lovelies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about a few things. Um, but first, I am going to ask you guys to please like this video, subscribe to my channel and make sure you also share this video. Many, many thanks. So i did on my last week's video a q a where you guys asked me questions and i answered but i found that there was a few questions that i didn't actually get through so i decided to do kind of like a part two while i share perfumes that i've been loving while i share long lasting perfumes while i also share a particular perfume that is coming out pretty soon that i cannot wait to get the bottle in my hand so let's get on with the questions i'm gonna keep it super quick and snappy i got my trusted laptop here let's go <laughs> somebody wonderful said why are you so gorgeous and this was in my community tab um and i i, I thank you thank you <laughs> thank you so much um i'm really grateful and <laughs> i don't know what else to say but thank you very very much so the next um, question is what is the hardest part of being a content creator um is it deciding what video to make editing the video or not getting enough views i have to say all of the above i think the hardest part starts from being in the mood to film because for me when i'm not in the mood to film and i film a video and i put it out you guys can tell there are times when I'm just so excited to film and there are times I'm not as excited, but because I don't want to let you guys down, I don't want to let myself down. I kind of push through and I will still film a video anyway, but most of the time I'm really, really excited to film. But yeah, the hardest part starts from there. Um, I think editing is really, really daunting for me. It takes a very long time for me to edit my videos because I want everything to be perfect. I want to put in as much information as possible. I want to make it nice and clear. You guys can see me clearly. I want to write the notes. It's really, really hard to edit a video to perfection without mistakes because I watch it back like five times <laughs> before I actually put it out there. And I also think not getting enough views can be painful especially when you've gone through all that stress all that wahala of posting i mean of, of 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 filming and editing and makeup hair everything like you are literally producing a show and you do all of that and you get very little views it can be painful but the way i look at it is my people watch me the people who love me watch me sometimes youtube don't push the videos sometimes is i don't know i don't know but sometimes like some of the the videos that you think will get a lot of views don't always get the views and the ones that that you feel like oh, let me just put that out there you know this is not the best of me but i've done the video let me post it anyway those are the videos that tend to do really well but for me i try not to look at the views as much i focus on my community on people that are here in the live talking to me i focus so much more on that because you guys make me so happy when we have our sunday like chin wags i absolutely love it so i hope that answers your question so the next question is if you could create a fragrance what would the notes be now i'm not going to share that because <laughs> that would be giving people ideas people already steal ideas from other people and it's really sad because it takes it takes time when you have your creativity your creativity um juices are flowing and you talk to people and you express it and next thing you see someone just taking that idea and not even trying to make it into their own they're not trying to make it better they're literally just stealing it and making it theirs that can be really disheartening so because of that reason i will not share but i will say this there will be vanilla in my perfume because i am a vanilla lover there would be some kind of spices maybe a pink pepper or maybe a saffron something like that and there will be banana there has to be banana like i have been screaming about one of the best if not the best banana perfume on the market banana banana by Latizan. i've been screaming about this for like three years even more 
and I've always thought my perfume one day when I create a perfume because it will happen it will definitely happen um I don't it doesn't necessarily have to be with a brand it could just be a solo project that I'm gonna embark embark on I, I, I it's gonna happen but it would definitely have some type of uh, banana type vibe going on you guys you just wait and see because it's it, it, you guys wait and see but that's a really 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 good question i think i've actually given it away actually not really because there's so many ideas that i have that when when it happens you guys are going to be extremely wild by it um so yeah the next question is when did you realize your love for perfumes and you wanted to be a perfume collector slash content creator i have always loved perfume since i was about i think my love for perfume developed when i was 11 years old um and i can remember very vividly because that was the age that i started my monthly cycle and i remember thinking i can people smell me like i was so paranoid about smelling like i went to a girl's school and you know a few of my classmates didn't always smell great god forgive me it is true they didn't always smell great so i always kind of got paranoid i didn't want to be the stinky one i didn't like i just started buying perfume oils from body shop i started buying perfume oils my mom used to give me pocket money every day i'll save it and i'll buy the perfume oil every fortnight and i used it and i loved it and the moment i got my first job at the age of 16 my first first ever perfume was actually angel by Mugla and ever since then my pay will go towards perfumes so I wouldn't call myself a collector I think I'm more of a, a it's a passion thing for me perfume I'm, I don't collect perfume for the sake of it a lot of people on here do they just have bottles and bottles and bottles of perfumes that they don't even use is full to the brim the love of the perfume isn't there for a lot of people in my humble opinion so for me i just love to talk about perfumes i love to wear perfumes i've been wearing perfume for years i've worked for perfumery companies so it's i i i would say more i'm like a part-time content create creator um which leads me on to the next question um kimmy asked me um what what do you and your husband do for a living i work in finance he works in tech and we also have a business together that we need to relaunch because we kind of left it at the back burner for a bit but we need to relaunch it and just bring it up to scratch where it's supposed to be because we love our business we are passionate about having something that is that belongs to the both of us and yeah you guys watch out like you know watch this space um the next question is what are your insecurities um i don't really have one um i wouldn't say i'm insecure about anything i think if i mean it would probably be my mommy tummy like after i had my kids my belly changed it became a little bit you know it's, it became a little bit um the elasticity isn't as there as it used to be that like, i ain't got no six pack <laughs> but the thing about it is that it's as much as i want i don't want to say i don't like it. i think it took me time to love my new body it took me some time to like understand what happened to my body and i love it i wouldn't say it's an insecurity it's just a part of me that maybe i'm more conscious of than any other parts of my body i don't believe in insecurities i just think you no know, I'm, I'm an amazing human being i think of my inside and the way god has made me i'm one of the best people i know and i'm not saying that to be arrogant because i know my heart and where my heart lies and because of that i don't i don't feel insecure about anything but physically yeah if i could have a little bit of a flat hat on me that would be fantastic but i make it work and it's fine okay, so another question is did you ever felt and discouraged embarrassed nervous about sharing your love for perfumery and why for me i'm really proud of my perfume collection i'm so proud I love all my perfumes. I love sharing my love for perfumes. I'm not embarrassed or shy. Um, I used to think people may see it as me showing off. Um, but when I got that out of my head, I share my love. Like I don't treat myself often, but when I do, I will treat myself 
to perfumes like i love perfumes i love shoes and that's about it um so yeah i'm really proud of my collection like a lot of them were gifts from my husband and a lot of them i bought for myself my little sister buys me gifts my big sister some friends have also got me perfume so i built my collection with love i love my perfumes they are they are a huge part of me and i'm so happy to share with you know fellow perfume lovers and yeah i'm just I'm not nervous or anything about sharing it. No, it's the most exciting part of my day. And the last question is, what is your biggest goal in life? Um, I think I've achieved the biggest one, which is just to be a mom. There is nothing, nothing in this world that is more important to me than being a mom to my two beautiful children. And I've already achieved that. And the rest of my achievement, personally, as a person, as Abby, it's just growing in whatever I want to do. Like I, I want my channel to move away slightly from only perfumes because there are so many more things that I want to do. There are so many more knowledge I feel like I can pass on, um, especially when it comes to relationships, when it comes to marriage, how to navigate marriage, how to, when you date, what to do or not to do. Uh, when it comes to children, obviously I can't tell people how to parent, but I can share things that have worked for me. I can share my challenges and how I overcame them. So I definitely want my channel to kind of, you know, have a little bit more of that lifestyle aspect to it as opposed to just perfumes only. So I think for, for right now, that's where I want to go. Um, so I feel like I want to have enough, you know, whether it's money, whether, whether it's more wisdom, more knowledge, so I can just share and help. Like that's literally me. I just want to help people and I hope that I'm able to do that one day <laughs> um so let's move on to the perfumes um there are quite a few perfumes that i've been loving these perfumes are super super long lasting i am truly obsessed um we're going to start with the new one by zara this is called love explosion now this is um a mix of red temptation and rose gourmand which is br540 and roses vinyl and i think this is so lovely this is a, so sweet it smells addictive you get a lot more in my opinion more of that rose gourmand if you have both red temptation and rose gourmand you don't need this just mix them and you get this but i feel like i just wanted to have it i just wanted to have it in my collection because it's just so lovely it lasts long um i remember sharing this with one of my colleagues at work and asked her to get it she went to the store and she smelled it and she said said that it smelled like piss i am never ever vexed about anything when it comes to perfumes i get that it's subjective but on this day i don't know why i was vexed <laughs> i was vexed i was just like what me what do you mean it smells like piss what are you smelling um but later on she came back and said that maybe that sample in store was off she bought it she absolutely loved it so thank goodness for that this is absolutely incredible so the next perfume i've been absolutely loving is cairo by pen halligans now this is a rose oud perfume with a little bit like a touch of sweetness that is very woody is very strong it's very powerful it's very much a unisex perfume i am so in love with this you can like you don't need to reapply this just spray five sprays you are good for the whole day it's amazing that i've been obsessed with is sharaf blend now this perfume first of all if you don't have this what exactly are you waiting for run and buy this especially because coco peps has a 10 percent discount code which i'm going to leave over there run ahead and but this is less than 40 pounds this smells similar to angel share but dare I say, this is more likable because not everyone likes Angel Share. This is boozy. This is sweet. This is sexy. It's spicy. It's truly sensational. It's very, very long lasting. It's one of those Middle Eastern perfumes that does not have that scratchy thing I'm always talking about. This is the reason I don't own a lot of Middle Eastern perfumes because they always open up quite sharp and alcoholic. But this one opens up very smooth, almost like it's got some caramel mixed with some booziness. It is truly, truly amazing. 
check this one out blind buy safe if you've been thinking of getting angel share and you can't afford it or you don't really like how smoky and how boozy that is you would absolutely love this one trust me sharaf blend is a must have and the next one is casablanca by swiss arabian i haven't reached for this perfume in so long but oh this is so so good this is like a caramel apple pie in a perfume form this is a super long lasting again it's super affordable i have had this in my collection for a long time it's macerated it smells divine it's very smooth you don't need to over spray this a little goes a long way so that is casablanca by swiss arabian so next is sol de janeiro 60 60 59 i have both the body spray and the body cream here this is the best cream that so de janeiro i've ever done especially in terms of um how it moisturizes the texture of it this is like a whipped butter with marshmallow and caramel you can see like it's literally it's not like the rest that kind of like it's more liquidy this is super super whipped like i feel like there's sheer butter in here this is so 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 nice i do prefer it to the spray the spray is again more like a really fluffy sweet girly uh, marshmallow vanilla kind of scent um you can smell a little bit of the woodsiness it's got some type of jasmine i think in here which I don't really detect that much. She's got sugared violet, so you get that powderiness. It is really, really lovely together. It lasts all day together. Just make sure you shower really well. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Spray your armpits. Moisturize well with the body um, cream. And spray your body down with the body mist. It is so, so lovely together. I highly recommend these. This might actually be... Uh, my second favorite from the whole Sol de Janeiro line and I think there's a new one coming out in a red bottle I don't know the name but if I can find a picture I will pop it over there I'm really excited about everything Sol de Janeiro I just feel like this I just feel like there's things that's just so nice very aesthetically pleasing um nothing smells bad from them and their body creams are definitely a must have speaking of body lotions I recently got this rare beauty body lotion from space nk in the uk I went into my local space nk and my daughter and I saw this and immediately I was just like this packaging is everything this is so nice and then when I moisturized my body with this, oh my Lord, it was so, so lovely. When you smell it, it doesn't smell like anything. But when you rub it into your skin, you get a very clean kind of hotel-like scent from it. Like, uh, you know, those body creams in like those very expensive hotels. That's what this gives me. The moisturization is absolutely spot on. This will moisturize your dry elbows because my elbows are dry too. It moisturized it, it moisturized my feet really well my um, knees is so so good i highly recommend it it's a little bit expensive for what it is because this is only a 250 mil and when i moisturize i use a lot of product so this ain't gonna last me that long but i'm definitely willing to buy it again um hopefully it goes on sale but this is really really stunning and it would go really well with any kind of perfumes i layered this with um the glossier you Ooh. It was so so good and and i really really love this so check this one out if you haven't already next perfume is arabian stonka by montal one thing you guys have to know about montal is they will give you beast mode perfumes all day every day now this to me smells very middle eastern it's got like some sugar cane it's got vanilla some rose some saffron you're getting spices you're getting sweetness you are getting a smooth and incredibly sharp at the same time it's smooth in the dry down but it's sharp in the opening so that could put people off but if you wait for this perfume to dry down you are going to get a very sweet vanilla musky and ambery kind of scent this is perfect for this time of the year i've not tested it in the summer or the spring but my guess is it may not just be the best then but i'm willing to try it then but for right now this is amazing once this is done i think i may be like here by now because i use this a lot in the last couple of weeks um i'm definitely gonna get like a hundred meal bottle this is a perfume i don't ever want to be without i think it's amazing and last but not least is passion de l'amour by house of Sears. <laughs> oh when i first got this i think i told you guys i was like mm, i'm not sure 
but when it dried down I was like Ooh, this is me now this is a very fruity sweet oody scent the oud is present. The oud leads the way. The oud dries down onto your skin. This is oudy. But it's so sweet and fruity that it just blends and it balances really, really well. When I put this on my skin, in the dry down, I literally want to lick my arm. It smells... It's not an edible type scent, but it's so morose that you just want to keep smelling yourself over and over again. Longevity is insane. I'm talking all day all night it's just so wonderful my husband can't get enough of it i don't know if i've ever told you guys before but my husband when it comes to perfumes if he says something is nice it's okay if it's like wear that again <laughs> then you know it's absolutely magical and this perfume is truly magical i love the bottle i want to get more associage perfumes and this is definitely a good introduction to the so my lovelies that is it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching at the time i filmed this video i had not chosen the winner of the giveaway but i will announce it in my on my instagram after this video so give me a little bit of time uh but i'll definitely tag the winner at some point today thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye